Welcome back. <clears throat> Got a great show for you today. Not really. All right, so my plan for today was to do a before and after shop cleaning video, which will come soon, and I think I will get a lot of gratification out of that. Um, but I gotta work on this thing. Uh, tomorrow I got a guy coming over to help me, so I need to get this situated with brakes. So I did save the brake components from last time, uh, and I will be bolting them on here. But what I didn't realize is I have to get the C-clips out and pull the axles out to actually get those brakes on that flange or whatever it is. So, uh, shop cleanup will have to wait till another day. Uh, I will, though, give you a quick introduction on the project. So, this is my 1977 Land Cruiser FJ40. Uh, I bought this truck kind of in decent shape. Um, it had some vibration issues. It came on 33s, fairly stock, kind of a cool FJ40 Land Cruiser. Uh, and then I decided that I would upgrade some things. So we ended up doing spring over conversion, front and rear. Uh, these are FJ60 axles with the ARB air lockers front and rear, high steer, did power steering on it. Um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, I guess those are kind of cool. So those are uh, method race wheels with 37 inch Geolander MTs. And we are kind of in the final stages of bolting it back together. Um, yeah, I'm getting very excited to drive this thing. And I'm hoping it's only about another month or so of working on it once or twice a week until she's ready to go. Tonight, hopefully we can get those brakes bolted up and then go from there. Just dug around looking for an Allen key that I don't have. So I'm using this and a combination of wrenches, uh, which I think will work, but I also think I probably need to go and get some Land Cruiser has been a project I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, and I think I actually bought the wrong vehicle because I could have saved a lot of money by buying something that was already half done. Because this thing was not stock, but it wasn't far off uh, something that could kind of be restored to a bit more of a factory finish. Uh, but I didn't know any better, so I ended up spending a fair bit of money on this guy and kind of ripping it apart anyway. So from what I've read, I don't know if this will be strong enough, but you can get a magnet on here. It's kind of, oh yeah, look at that. And it hits the ring gear, that's kind of sweet. Maybe you don't actually have to take it all the way out. I do not know. We'll see. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think this will work. I've got one more to take out yet. Back to my hokey way of getting this done. So I mentioned before, this is all an ARB air locker. And this thing's got 488 gears, which in hindsight, I think is probably the wrong gear for this axle because it's still got the stock Land Cruiser engine in here, uh, which is underpowered at best. Um, so we'll see. I think 529s would have been the ticket, but I didn't get those, so. We'll have to make these work. Oh my goodness, that's a bit in there. Oh, it's these little dinky issues that make these jobs take way longer than they should. All right, we'll see if this is the tool that will get the job done. All right, all right, 
So now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right down in there, that is a C-clip. I'll use this thing to point it out. So that is a C-clip. It shouldn't be too hard to get out. All right. There's C-clip number one. Let's see if I can get that right there. That should make pulling the axle out all that much easier. Very careful not to wreck the seals. There you go. There it is an axle shaft. All right, so this next one is pretty simple. Things are kind of fall into the... kind of nice to be able to have the old FJ40 axle to kind of look at and refer to. Which means That's how they go. Now, this thing, yes. Ugh. Turn the camera off for a second. Make sure I wasn't. Yeah, totally. I think there is a way here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Don't worry, I usually realize these brakes will need to be sorted out sooner than later. But... Alright, so I actually don't feel too bad about that. Um, like I said, I know that I'm going to need to do the brakes at some point because they're all rusty and kind of nasty. Um, but in terms of just getting it back together so we can test fit it on the truck, I'm pretty happy with how that all went together. Um, and I've got some spacers on order, um, to make the wheels fit. So that'll probably give like a nice poke for that guy, uh, under the truck. So I'm excited to see 
how that looks. I'm hoping to pick up those spacers tomorrow. So I'll try and get some of that footage in here before I upload this video. All right, so that was a somewhat productive little short evening in the shop. Uh, I've got the brakes on the rear axle and tomorrow we will test fit the wheels and tires and see if they fit. Um, the back fit already and that, there was no issue there, but on the front, the hub was just a tiny bit bigger. And you can see in here, there's kind of a lip. It actually looks like it kind of damaged the wheels a little bit. Um, it's this lip here that wouldn't slide past that hub. So with the wheel spacer, there's probably gonna be about a 16th of space between that lip and the edge of this bolt. It may even be so tight that I'll try and square these off so they're parallel to this surface here. Uh, I'm not super stoked about the spacers. I like that it'll be wider. I know there's lots of mixed reports on whether spacers are good or dangerous or bad or whatever. I've read some things that said it's no different than having like a big offset wheel. Um, but I'm not willing to go with different wheels. I'm super pumped about these wheels. So it's gonna require spacers to make them work. So I will be running spacers. One more little project we're gonna do here before we finish up for the night is I've got these frame supports that are all welded in here. And with the new axles going in, uh, I wanna get these painted before all this gets hidden, uh, including this plate. And I've just got some kind of basic rust paint and I'm just gonna kind of slop it on with the brush. I'm not super finicky. I'm also gonna hit these guys with a little bit of that rust paint. Initially, I had kind of de-rusted and painted the stock FJ40 Leafs, um, but anytime you do a spring over on a 40, the back sags a little bit, so you gotta get a little bit higher in the rear. Uh, so these are actually the springs that came with this truck, and they are a two inch or inch and a half lift spring. Uh, so I think these will work pretty good. Plus, when once we get the bumper done on the back and the spare tire hung, uh, there'll be a fair bit of weight on there, so it'll, it should flatten up those springs a fair bit. Uh, so yeah, here we go, let's get to painting. I've done a little bit of grinding just to try and rough up the surface a bit, but it's still pretty smooth. I know in the roughy zones it'll fit and it'll stick, but I'm a little concerned that, oh, just on the smooth metal it may not actually adhere as well as I'm hoping. But again, this is not, not targeting a concourse vehicle. I wanna wheel this thing, so. It'll be better than nothing, that's for sure. All right, I think there's just enough time here at the end of the night to do one last coat of paint. I'm gonna do the rear axle and just get one coat of that gray color on it here before I head out. Pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, next video you should be able to see what the wheels and tires look like. I'm pretty, pretty stoked. So, we'll see you guys next time.